Tyendinaga Mohawk Territory is the main First Nation reserve of the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinte. It's located in Ontario, east of Belleville, on the Bay of Quinte. The Mohawks are considered the easternmost nation within the Iroquois Six Nation Confederacy and as such are referred to as the keepers of Eastern Door. A wide variety of animals were important to the Mohawk as they relied on them for food and for materials, for weapons, clothes and more. In general, the Mohawk relied heavily on most of the animals that inhabited the region they lived in. Hunting animals was not only important for meat, but for other parts of the animal as well. The indigenous people used the skin for making clothing and blankets, the bones for tools, and the tendons for sewing. The heads um, can be decorated and they can be sold or gifted. Um, the feet, we boil the feet down and we pull the, the claws off the deer. And I don't know if you've ever seen people uh, dancing at powwow, but we call them uh, clatter bones. But they, um, they'll be on a piece of leather. They're usually around their legs or around their arms and they clang together and they make a real cool noise when they're dancing. We make jewelry out of it. We save the teeth, we save toenails, everything that we can to uh, repurpose and to give thanks for the animals. So we encourage hunters, um, Jake and her boys for sure, my sister, hunts as well as her family. Um, we encourage them to be grateful for the animal's life that they've taken. Because we're taught that the animals are here to provide for us and to look after us. So uh, we put tobacco down and give thanks for their lives. The ulu is a traditional indigenous tool that is used in many applications. Some of the more popular uses are skinning, and cleaning animals and cutting food. Traditionally, it was made with a handle of caribou antler, muskox horn, or walrus ivory, with a slate cutting surface. In modern times, the blade is commonly made of steel. With the versatility of the ulu, it is still a common tool in use today. Animal skins have long been valued, particularly as raw materials for clothing, gloves, shoes, hats, and blankets, as well as other uses.